session report. Uh, this video, I'm looking to create uh, some comparisons to what we did or what we had planned for the session. So at the top here, you can already see I've created a bunch of cards to show uh, what we did in that session. Um, based on our game percentage uh, measure that we created last time in our load data table. Um, the first thing I'm going to do today is create a single card as well to give you an idea of what kind of session this was. So in my load data table, this is just called training and this was an endurance day. I'm just going to get rid of the category label and I'm just going to put this up in the top corner here. And let's just make this slightly smaller. Let's just go to 36. So in my session, in my set of data, I have uh, strength sessions, endurance sessions, speed sessions, and um, sort of review days. So these might be called different uh, in what you do. They might be in intensive, extensive, whatever it might be. Um, but these are kind of common terms that are used for different types of training. Um, so as you can see, our loads were quite high across everything. Um, the one thing we're going to do is we're going to create a, a measure within our planned table to see uh, if our daily load was higher or lower than our planned load. So let's go into our tabular editor and we're going to create a measure and let's just go call this TD. Uh, plan actual and we'll put that in a folder and we'll call that plan actual so it's very simple uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull in uh, our game percentage for total distance so let's call this var this day and then we'll have var plan as well and we'll pull in our plan to pull distance percentage. And then what we're going to do is just create a value and call this uh, this day minus plan. And we'll return that value. Make sure I return properly. We'll format it and we'll hit save. So by having this day uh, minus planned is if our planned load is higher than what we had, uh, than what we did today in today's session, we'll get a negative value, I mean. So um, let's put these together. So let's have our planned total distance. Let's just refresh this to try and get our new measure. So there we go. So our planned total distance here is Let's just add some decimal places here so we can see. So we've got a 69.95. And then our value for today. Uh, can we just put this beside this here? Uh, it's a little bit higher at 70.3. And then our plan versus actual. Let's just add this here. Changes to a percentage. There you go, it's 0.35 of a percent, so it's not very much. Just kind of what you expected with the difference in these loads here. So, what we're going to do is use this value, and so basically, that's showing us that our session for today was a little bit higher, which is what we wanted to see. So, what we can do now is we can delete these visuals because we don't need them. And what we're going to do is we're going to create or change our background color here. And we're going to use a rule. So we're going to create this based on this here. So TD plan versus actual. Uh, so if the, the number here is, um, is greater than zero or a minimum value we could possibly get. Okay, so that's going to be our first thing. So our second value, um, we want this to be less than or equal to. And so this is if 
so this is going to say 5% based on if we are um, if we are below our target. And we're just going to give it a color. I don't choose green, red, yellow anymore. I'm going to stick with one color and we're going to use that throughout. So it's just going to stick with the red colors. That's not going to mean good, bad, different. It's just going to be a um, sense of if we're above or below. And we can add that uh, soon to show that. So let's go with this and equal here and then we'll go greater than. And this we can just put whatever. And this is just going to be a darker red. So let's just use our. Yeah, there we go. That works. I'm just going to hit OK. So there we have our color. So that's just showing us that we are within planned range. Um, so we can do the same thing here for everything else. So we can just do this here and go and duplicate. And let's just call this B5. And then I'll get rid of the copy. And then this now is going to be B5. And this is going to be B5. And then hit save. Okay, so let's hit on our high speed here. So I use the terms high speed, very high speed, and sprint for my bands. Uh, you guys might use something different, but I tend to use speed because uh, we're talking about a distance. Velocity would be based on if we were talking about the max velocity that a guy ran or a girl ran. Um, so we'll go back into background here, use our formula, and we're going to go rule and planned load plan versus actual and we'll just do the same thing and we're going to use our five percent value um, and we're going to add in yeah so we're going to negative zero point zero five less than or equal to point zero five and this is going to be slightly darker and then another one is uh, zero point zero five and we need this to be greater than and then less than 100 because it's never going to get to 100 but we go slightly darker red. Okay. All right. So there we go. We've got some colors here. I'm going to finish these off off the video, uh, but you'll just see there that we've got um, a comparison. And what you can do is you can create a text box uh, here. And let's just say uh, above, below, or within uh, target. And let's just go here and make our text a bit bigger. And then what you can do here is you could uh, change your colors here. So if we had, oops, yeah, above was our lightest color, within or below, sorry, was our darkest color. I should change these around. Make sense. Uh, and we're going to make this our middle color. So there we go, we've got our values there. Let's just make it 24 or center it. We can turn off our background. And then that's all I would do to give you a sense of, okay, what do these colors actually mean? And then I would just add that above. Let's just make them slightly smaller. Let's just go with 20. So then now you have a sense of, okay, what do these colors actually mean in this? And so there we have that. So that's really straightforward. Um, and now we can see, okay, what are we doing on a given day really quickly in a card? Uh, the next thing you could do, and this is something I normally do as well, is you can use anything you like, but if you want to show off uh, some absolute values, which you might want to do, uh, what you could do here is just use a clustered bar chart. You don't need to put anything in the axis, but what you can do is just use your planned load for a given day. So let's just start with total distance. So this would be our planned total distance, which was seven and a half thousand. And then we can grab our this day value. And we can put this in any order we want, but there we've got our two colors or our two uh, values. 
you can change your colors if you like. So say our plant value is lighter and our list day color is darker and do it that way. Uh, and you've got a, a quick view of what you had to do or what you did on that day. So you can change add in your data labels. We can remove our decimal places. And what we need to do is then change our axis. So what we can do is we can just say that it ends at say 11 and a half. So that we've got some, some leeway. And now we've got a good idea of, okay, where did we do today based on an absolute value? Some of the things you can change to create a um, slightly bigger bar is you can change the width. Uh, you can remove the maximum size, doesn't matter, but you can get rid of the padding as well. Um, but what you will want to do is keep your legend uh, and you can top and center that. Um, but obviously just make sure that your values make sense. So the one thing I do often is, um, is the first one I will keep as a legend. And so I can say uh, target, or let's say, let's change this, plan load, change that to plan load, uh, actual load. Change the size of our legend slightly, make them black, let's just go. Uh, and then uh, what I tend to do is I can get rid of the axis because you don't really need it and you can get rid of both sides um, You can get rid of the title if you like and then you go you've got it slightly bigger uh, We can make our text bigger for our labels And make sure responsive is off to make sure these things are a bit bigger uh, And you can get rid of your title So there you would have a sense of okay what have I done today versus planned an actual? Um, I will normally create, and I'll, I'll do this off uh, the video as well, as I'll put a title along the side to say what the metric actually is. And then I'll only do this for a few things. So I'd say maybe put our total distance, some high speed values, some together, and then generally it would include accelerations, that kind of thing as a third metric. Um, so that'll include there, and you'll get a sense for your coach of what does this mean as an actual value. Um, you can put little cards beside as well if you wanted to reiterate what this was uh, with a, for the coach's view, um, that's up to you. Or you could create a different measure that has uh, your plan versus actual within the card and you can still color based on uh, what your value was. Um, so this is the beginning of our report so far. You can see where we're heading. Um, I'll add a few extra things uh, outside this video and then I'll come back finally and we'll create the last piece of our report. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe below uh, to make sure you're notified of future videos. Uh, otherwise, I hope to see you next time uh, where we will continue to power performance through data. Thank you.